Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next attack strategy video. And in this one, I'm talking about the Queen Walk Dragon attack that's become very popular at Town Hall 9. Uh, it's very powerful, and um, it's hard for, to set up a base that defends well against it. Although it is doable, but at that point, you're sacrificing uh, some defenses against hogs and stuff. But anyway, um, this is a great strategy, so I'm going to show you guys the basics. And as you guys know, I don't make my attack strategy videos that long, just because you see them a lot in the channel and the war recaps and the live attacks and various other uh, series that I do. So um, it's just about a 10 minute video for me to show one or two attacks, uh, kind of draw it out, and basically just give you know what is needed to do this attack. Um, because I don't, I don't want to go into too much detail on these, just because, uh, like I said, you see so many of these in the war recaps. But anyway, um, we're taking a look at first an attack done by Rigo on a base number five. So uh, basically what he's doing here is you can see uh, these two air defenses, or actually three of them. Uh, when the queen walks into this compartment right here, she has access to all three of them. She can shoot far enough to hit that one. And then obviously these two are very handy. Uh, so what Rigo does is he basically just starts off with the queen walk right here and just lets her work her way up for a little while. Um, he's starting his queen walk off right there because it's a very easy funnel, just drop few troops right here, take out this army camp, easy funnel. Um, and then I believe he might drop something to, to funnel off his queen there, and then wall breakers in. So lets her into that compartment. Has to deal with the king, the expo. Um, so I think he does use a rage uh, right in this area on her, just to keep her up. Um, and for these queen walks, typically four or five healers, especially if you're entering the base, you gotta have a lot of healing on your queen. Even though that the, the uh, fourth and fifth healer don't do 100% healing. They kind of, uh, it's kind of an asymptote as far as the healing goes. They start to do less and less healing um, per healer that you add after like three, but it's still worth it even if they're only doing 70 or 50% of their actual healing uh, because it does make a difference, especially under rage. And uh, you can do three healers, but that's mainly when you're not entering the base. But anyway, uh, he gets in here, takes out uh, these two air defenses, obviously. This third one eventually goes down to the queen, but she kind of goes in a weird way and has to go beat through this wall and then comes, makes her way in this way to take out that air defense. Um, meanwhile, he just uses a zap quake uh, to just take out this air defense. Gets a little bit of damage on the queen, but doesn't take her out, and you don't need to. Uh, the queen is not that much of an issue. Air defenses are much more uh, detrimental to your dragons because the... The dragons are going to lock onto that queen as soon as she starts hitting them. And if you have a, two dragons, uh, at level 4, they're going to take out the queen real quick. Um, level 4 is what I would recommend. I wouldn't do this with level 3 dragons. Um, in most uh, instances, you might just want to use hogs or uh, laloon or something like that. But anyway, um, from here, uh, he's basically just sending in his uh, dragon. I don't, I don't think he uses his king for anything too important. Uh, the king is kind of just a utility troop. Uh, sometimes you want to send your king in to take out an air defense. Like, for example, if the queen wasn't going to get this one, he could wall breaker his king on in and then have his king enter and take that out. Um, but anyway, you know, it's just whatever uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, anyway, uh, so the, the dragons make their way through, take out the queen, and just kind of go along this runway down the bottom here, taking out defenses. It helps the expo is not on air, it's on ground, but that's not really a big difference maker. Uh, in this attack, so no air sweepers are really pushing the dragons. Uh, this one goes down pretty quick and uh, gets the three stars. So let's go ahead and take a look at the attack, and then we'll take a look at a different one after that. All right, got the recording off just in time, I believe, to catch the uh, cold September war in the last few hours that I can. Uh, anyway, where are we? Number five, Rigo, taking it out. And uh, you can see here has four healers, seven balloons, and then a few, well, five dragons, actually. And the deal with balloons is basically that, I mean, there's some defenses that the dragons aren't going to target, uh, or at least won't target immediately. And maybe they might be, you know, sh an archer tower that's shooting at the dragons uh, for a while before they get over to it. Because remember, the dragons target every building, so it takes them a while to get... Uh, to make their way through the base. So balloons are great for distracted defenses and also just to help your dragons, give them a little more firepower because uh, the dragons are very tanky 
and uh, you can easily slip some balloons in and take out a few defenses while they're distracted, like I said. And we'll go ahead and see more about that, a different way you can use balloons in the next attack. But anyway, uh, Rigo wall breakers his queen in, like I said. Uh, the funnel is created nicely. She actually goes in and engages the king, so has to use her rage. Or actually just uses the poison. Good use of the poison there. Uh, she does get low, so he goes ahead and pops the ability to be safe. Um, but I guess he wasn't planning on using the, either the ability or the rage. Uh, but right here, she has two-point defense on her, getting a little bit low. She steps up and takes out that archer tower, but uh, two more point defense coming on. So good placement of the rage. Keeping the healers in the rage. Obviously, that's very important. Golem comes out of the CC, but she takes out the expo first and then deals with the golem. Uh, so here come the dragons. Two dragons creating the funnel. Don't forget your Town Hall 8 mechanics. Um, you still got to funnel your dragons just like you would, especially when the queen is still up. Because uh, most of the time the queen is still going to be up. And you want to send your dragons through the area uh, where the queen is located. Another another great part about this is people still put their uh, seeking air mines near their air defenses. So typically you're not going to hit many air traps if you go near the queen. Uh, just because people are trying to take out balloons and lava hounds, which tend to go near the air defenses. So uh, right there, he does hit an air bomb, but hasn't hit much besides that. The balloons come in. Nice touch there to take out that archer tower because uh, it's distracted on the queen. And then he'll also get the uh, cannon taken out as well. Just drops his king down, like I said, just to clear out some trash buildings, keep the dragons moving a little bit quicker. Um, didn't really have much of a use, but sometimes, like I said, you want to use the queen or the king to take out an air defense if you can wall breaker him in and get to an air defense that's in one of the outer compartments of the base. So you can see a few Teslas popping, and the queen did go through a wall right here, but she is going to eventually make her way over and take out that air defense. Uh, this guy has quite a bit of air targeting defenses towards the bottom, uh, but that queen is coming in at a great spot to take out those Teslas and stuff. Has four balloons still in the bag. Uh, finally drops down a Lava Hound, actually. A little late, uh, but it's going to do tanking, I guess, for at least one defense. Um, I guess he could have brought another Max Dragon and some more balloons, but elected to bring the Lava Hound. I would have gotten it out a little bit earlier if I was him, but kind of a weird decision. But anyway, it works okay. The Lava Hound does a little bit of tanking, um, and then it just kind of floats around for the rest of the attack. The healers went ahead and went over to the king, and still has like two dragons up, a few wizards for cleanup. Uh, don't get stingy on your wizard, still got to have those for cleanup, and uh, this last building goes down, that's a 3 star. Alright, we're going to take a look at one more, um, like I said, don't like making these attack strategy videos too long, especially when I've already so, uh, shown so many attacks from this war, but anyway, uh, we are looking at, I think it's, yeah, Karim, uh, taking out the number 11, doing a little of a different variation, because you can be creative with this attack, uh, you don't necessarily have to um, use a zap quake. Uh, you can just as easily just uh, do a queen walk and then use a lava hound from your CC to tank for one of the air defenses. Uh, there's a lot of different options, but uh, whatever you do, it typically has a queen walk and it typically has dragons, or else that's kind of a deal breaker for the attack. It's no longer a this type of attack. But anyway, um, Karim's coming in with this queen. Uh, she's going to take out a few trash buildings and step up and get the cannon. Has four rages, so just goes ahead and drop drops one. Tesla does pop anyway, so good thing he did. Um, so she's at full health as she deals with all this point defense. She'll step up and get that first air defense, just shooting over the wall. Drops another minion down, creating the funnel nice and wide, making sure she's not going to walk on him. Um, right here, the Lava Hound comes out, so she is going to have to deal with that. And unfortunately, another Tesla pops, so she's taking some damage from the Archer Tower and the Tesla. So it has to go ahead and rage the healers again to get the queen back to full health. Uh, because she got very low right there with two-point defense, plus the, uh, the little droppings from the Lava Hound uh, was getting her to almost uh, no HP. Drops the poison down just to help protect the healers from the uh, Lava Pups, but not, not that necessary, uh, but goes ahead and does it anyway. Uh, king comes in here. I like the King. Um, there's really nowhere for him to go, so drops him down, then drops down a few wall breakers. Has a little bit of a wall breaker fail because uh, he keeps hitting with that mortar. So the king has to beat through the wall on his own, uh, but a level 26 king is going to get through there. The Tesla's on the queen anyway, so he takes all that out real quick and gets in and takes out that, that air defense. Uh, like I said, the queen continues on her walk, and uh, right here, that next air defense is able to be reached uh, from the outside. So uh, the queen, as soon as she gets over here, is going to take out that air defense. Meanwhile, starts the dragons, and this, this is another important thing. Start the dragons early. Um, they're not going anywhere near that air defense for quite a while, so start the dragons as early as you can. 
um, because they're slow to move and you don't want to run out of time with this attack. So great uh, timing on the dragons. I like the Lava Hound right here. Using it to tank for the dragons, also a few balloons, so all his air stuff's converging on that last air defense. And as soon as that Lava Hound pops, uh, everything's on that air defense. Uh, I, he, he, one thing you want to notice is that he didn't drop the Lava Hound first, then drop the dragons. He let the dragons get out in front, uh, let like one of them go down to the, to the air defense, then drop the Lava Hound because he knew that if he dropped the Lava Hound too early, uh, it wouldn't be doing any tanking. The dragons would just be built, uh, beating on the trash buildings on the outside. Uh, while the Lava Hound was getting destroyed by the air defense. So it was nice and patient and had it tanking when it really mattered uh, and let the dragons and balloons make the way in and get that last air defense. So very nice usage of his troops. Not having to zap quick any of the air defense is very creative with how to take them out. But uh, anyway, finishes up here. You can see he even has a rage spell, which he did not drop. Uh, but that's the attack strategy, guys. Basically, uh, to summarize, I guess, be creative. You're looking to take out three to four air defenses, typically two to three with a queen walk. Then you can either zap quake one or send your king in on one or send in some balloons and a lava hound um, and then use your dragons near the queen area. So typically you want to send your five to, to seven dragons uh, next to the queen. Uh, let them take out the defensive queen and um, from there they can just take out other trash buildings and defenses in the area. Uh, but that's the power of this strategy. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, attack strategy, and maybe you guys can use this in some of your upcoming wars. But that'll do it for this one. See you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectron out.